I wanted to talk about gadgets of the gym really quickly before I start my uh, back day. Um, so a couple gadgets would be number one, waist trainers. This is something a lot of people ask me about. What do you think about it? I don't wear them um, for a reason. Like if I thought something was very beneficial, then I would wear it. However, I think waist trainers can be very dangerous. They're not going to uh, speed up fat loss. They won't aid in that at all. They don't help you build muscle, none of that. Um, waist trainers are a way to, waist trainers and corsets are a way to deform your body. <laughs> and I say deform because all it does is it moves your fat and organs included. Waist trainers, not so much unless they're very, very tight like a corset but corsets specifically move things around including your organs so it will shift your fat away from your waist making it look like you got leaner but it just shifted it it didn't lower your body fat percentage um and the problem with this is that it does lead to is it liver failure liver liver i think it's liver failure uh hubby always says <laughs> he'll no i'll stop there <laughs> All right, yeah, we save, don't need to cover that. He always says, let's save it for the liquor. Why would you waste it on that? But that's just being funny. Anyways, um, and it can cause other problems because obviously you're moving your organs around and I don't know why you would want to even touch that or deal with something like that. But that's more like corsets. Now, if you're talking about something that just cinches you a little bit, here's the problem. You may think it can't be that negative. But the problem with this is when I was pregnant with Lila, oh, not when I was pregnant, after I gave birth to Lila, I wore a um, belly wrap to help bring in my uterus and get everything kind of back, bounce it back quickly. Now the thing with this was, I noticed every time I took it off how weak I felt, like my whole body would just fall, like I felt like I couldn't hold myself up. This is what waist trainers also do. They don't allow your core, which is so important, to do normal tasks throughout the day um, and, and get strong and stronger through time so if you're always wearing a waist trainer and you go do squats and you know you're lifting you know a good amount of weight but then you take this waist trainer off it's like you're taking armor off you know and your and your core does not know how to deal with regular stress so your mom say but you use a waist trainer all the time um, and then one time you go to lift your kid but your core cannot handle this kind of weight without the assistance of a waist trainer and you can get a hernia or some other stuff can happen to you um, so waist trainers does not allow your core to get stronger and a strong core means a slimmer waist slimmer waist <laughs> uh, it means you can lift heavier in the gym you could start doing heavier squats because your core is very strong um, and then most importantly it prevents injuries so I say do not use a waist trainer it's not worth it for what a couple centimeters smaller waist just and remember it ain't fat loss it's just distributing the fat around areas but that fat is still there um, and also if you wear a waist trainer the fat has to go down and up so you don't want a fat back so I wouldn't use it if I were you. Um, but that's just something that people ask me about. I don't think, I mean, any gadget that just seems taboo, there's a reason it's considered taboo. Um, and that just does not seem safe. Corsets, even worse. Like, I wore a corset for a very small amount of my life. It was like five minutes and I thought I was going to die. I literally was like, I am hyperventilating. You've got to take this damn thing off of me. And I didn't wear it for like the purpose of looking leaner. I, I was at a uh, convention and there was someone who was like oh this is like our best corset would you like to try it on and we were just having fun a little bit of drinks too probably not the best idea <laughs> um and it just it wasn't a good thing i was like please take this off right now i cannot handle it panicking. i was really panicking so like i don't like closed in areas i don't like to feel like i'm being held um so yeah i started to, like panicking i was like take it off take it off and the strings were like miles long so it was taking forever to take it off <laughs> bad yeah, memory they were great for it, it was great for photo shoots yeah but that's about it <laughs> um so anyways that's my thought on that which now takes me to well what do you think about the sweat wraps and sweatsuits and all that stuff um in my last video remember how i said you exhale the fat <laughs> most of the fat uh, if you don't know what i'm talking about you want to watch the last video with how like fat leaves your body um so that kind of debunks the whole wearing sweat wraps around your stomach um because you only sweat out a small percentage of the fat and the problem with this I like I almost feel like you should just go to the sauna if you want to get a good sweat session or just work out in a really hot 
area, you know, they have like hot yoga or like I work out in my garage so I like drench in sweat. I feel like that is good, but if you're intentionally trying to like sweat out way too much and you're not drinking it, like you're not rehydrating yourself um, and you're not getting your electrolytes in, that can cause you to faint and the last thing you want to do is faint during a weightlifting session or on a treadmill. So these sweat wraps, they're not really like... They're not horrible if you want to use it, I guess you can, but there aren't that many benefits because you are just sweating out the water and you kind of need to drink it all back in anyways. So the water weight just comes back. If you don't drink it back in, then yeah, it's a problem. But when you use them, you want to be very careful, especially sweatsuits, because you, you can easily dehydrate yourself uh, and then pass out. So for that reason, I don't really feel like you need to do it. If you're like you have a lot of water retention maybe and you're trying to do it for that purpose once in a while but you really take care of yourself and you monitor your body then I guess but like I said I think Asana is just your better choice uh, don't do it while you're working out and already heavy breathing and you know like the chance of you passing out is bigger um, so I don't think that they're necess necessary in the gym but also I ain't super mad at the idea <laughs> I just don't think they're that necessary and now the third one people ask me about is wearing a belt, a weightlifting belt. Um, I'm not anti-weightlifting belts. I even tried it. It just it wasn't it wasn't my thing. <laughs> Maybe I gave up too soon, but um, it just wasn't my thing. I'm not anti it. I think if you know how to use it properly, then in and you use it the right way, then it's a great tool to have. But a lot of people don't use it right, and I see you know girls on Instagram like using it their entire workout, like the whole workout, <laughs> and I don't get that because that is probably worse than using like a waist trainer because you're not allowing your core to do any of the work at all. Um, a belt is meant only for your last set, your new PR, like say you know you're doing 220 pounds and you can clear it fine with no belt but 230 has been your first time try, it's something new, then you throw the belt on to assist you, help you, make sure you know it all stays intact you know uh, for that reason yes the belt is great but people who are using the belt throughout their entire workout no 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 you should not be doing that you need your core to be very strong to prevent injuries in, in daily life you know because like I said you work out one hour in the gym the rest of your life you take your belt off and you expect to, to be strong through doing like normal daily tasks groceries child I don't know whatever else you guys do. <laughs> That's kind of my life. <laughs> you want to be able to still be able to pick back, things up without hurting injuries. yourself. Um, and also back injuries, yes. So the belt, it, I think, is a great thing if you're using it properly. Um, not everybody needs it. If you work out at home, chances of you, well, home meaning you don't have like a lot of equipment, you're using dumbbells, don't even, don't even look for belts. Um, that's more once you get serious, once you're starting to really focus on PRs, or you have an injury and it requires you to use a belt. Um, people who have had, I can't think, like back injuries, maybe hernias, um, and they're trying to work around it and that's how they found that they can actually get a workout in. If it's something like that, then yeah, use it. But if you're completely healthy and you're not lifting super heavy, I don't think it's necessary. So those are the ones I'm commonly asked about. If I, well, if I miss, if I can't really think of any other ones, I don't really go work out in a gym to see what other people are using, but if there is something that you are curious about and you want me to talk about, um, just comment below and then I'll go over it if I think it's worth it or not and the pros and cons of it. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's go do our back session. Someone noticed my mechanic gloves. I do have workout gloves, but these are the bomb, especially throughout the winter. Everything you touch, like you're scared to touch it. I'm not even touch it if I don't have to touch it, but literally everything shocks you like crazy. You even feel it through the gloves, but it's less painful. The bars are so cold and the plates are so cold. Even on warmer days, like when we get like a burst of heat, they're still freaking cold. So this is what has gotten me through it. Yeah, they're awesome. Let's start. <laughs>
so that is it for back day. Um, it was a pretty good session. I feel like I'm gonna get pretty sore. We're gonna go to Chipotle. Hubby has fallen in love with it again. We love Chipotle, but he was having a hard time eating there, and he was getting the bowl. He used to always get the burritos, so he's like, let me try the burrito. Well, he fell in love again. So now we're going to Chipotle way too much. I don't mind. There's like some Photoshop going on here. Where? In your back, in the triceps. Oh, I have good muscle. Oh, very nice. <laughs> He's telling me he caught a really good angle of me. All right. No, it looks deformed. Oh, it looks deformed? <laughs> well. Put it back. I'm not going to stand the triceps. We almost forgot to end the video. He just told me, he's like, wait! We were so caught up, we forgot. Um, but as I was standing here, I was like, I don't know what to do, because he just saw videos of my hair when it was shorter, and he's like, I really like it. And I kind of been feeling like it's bland. I don't know, like once it gets long, I feel like it just looks eh. <laughs> Something to cut like a whole chunk off. What do you guys think? Should I cut it? Should I let it grow? I haven't seen it long in a long time. I mean, after I gave birth to Lila, it was like, it was huge, beautiful, then it started falling out. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what to do. Do you guys like this length? Do you want to see it longer? Should I cut it? Woo! So let me know, guys. Anyways, we're going to end it here. We're going to Chipotle. So we got to end it because we're hungry. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. YouTube does a really shitty job of notifying people intentionally. So if you're not aware, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are our upload days. So if you didn't get a notification, just come to my channel and see if I posted a video. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, bye guys. Bye.